Hi everyone and welcome to today's video. Today I'm finally going to be reviewing for you all the new Too Faced Born This Way Super Coverage Concealer. Now this concealer retails for $29 US dollars. It can be found in 20 different shades which is pretty good, really good for a concealer. I grabbed mine in the shade Sand to try out today. You get 0.5 fluid ounces worth of product and it has a shelf life of 12 months so you have an entire year to use it all up. Now this concealer is meant to be used all over the face so not just to conceal but you can also contour and highlight with it but depending on what you want to do that is going to determine what shade you're going to want to purchase. If you're planning on using this in order to contour then the website recommends for you to grab a couple of shades deeper than your complexion. If you're planning on using this in order to highlight then it recommends you grab a shade or actually two to three shades lighter and for concealing I personally like to stick to a shade that is the closest to my complexion as possible I feel like I get better coverage that way especially underneath the eyes now the details for this concealer straight from the website state that it is an oil-free concealer that is non-comedogenic which means that it's not going to clog any of your pores it is weightless and hydrating so skin is never dry or cakey long wearing for 12 hours it is photo friendly and it has no flashback so definitely a lot of pros within those details as far as the applicator on this, it does have a fairly large diamond doe foot applicator. So this is going to be perfect for the under eye area since it does have a pointy tip at the top in order to get right in that inner corner. It is nice and large so that you don't have to keep dipping back into the bottle in order to get more product. So that covers the basics. Today I am going to be testing this concealer out the way that I normally test my concealers out and that is with and without a color corrector. So so I am going to be using this alongside my Becca under eye brightening corrector on the right side and I'm not going to be using the color corrector on the left side. I want to see what kind of coverage I get with and without a color corrector underneath the concealer. And I'm also going to be setting this very, very lightly with some RCMA No Color Loose Powder in order to try to prevent the formula from settling into my fine lines. It does state that it is a hydrating formula, so that automatically tells me that more than likely it is going to settle into my fine lines, and I'm trying to avoid that, so I am going to just set it very, very lightly. So now I'm going to jump off camera in order to apply foundation onto the entire face, and I'm also going to color correct the right under eye area before coming back and concealing. Okay, so now I am back with color corrector on the right side and foundation on the entire face. So now it is time to conceal. So I'm going to just start here. Okay, so now I'm blending it out using my damp sponge. It's blending out really, really nicely, like effortlessly. Wow. Okay, so now I'm going to be setting it with just a little tiny bit of powder. I'm going to take some of my RCMA No Color Powder on my damp sponge here. Shaking it off. Okay, so as you can see, the coverage is amazing. I love what it's doing underneath the eye area. It doesn't look heavy, it doesn't look like too much, and it's giving me amazing coverage. It looks good, it looks really good. Now I'm gonna zoom y'all in so you can get a better look at the under eye area after initial application. Okay, so this is what the concealer looks like underneath the eyes. I am really, really pleasantly surprised and I am very hopeful. If it stays looking like this the entire day, um, or the majority of the day even, we have definitely got ourselves a new winner. <laughs> All right, so now I'm simply going to jump off camera once again in order to finish off the rest of my makeup and I will be right back. 
Okay, so now I am back with a full face of makeup and I am ready to continue my day. It is currently 12.15 in the afternoon. I do plan on wearing this the entire day and I am going to be coming back halfway through the day in order to show you all some close-ups of the under eye area and also talk to you all a little bit about how the concealer has been wearing up to that point. So I will see you back here in a few hours for my midday check-in. Okay, so now I am back for my midday check-in. It is currently 4.26, so I've had this concealer on for about four hours or so by now, and so far, I mean, I don't want to get ahead of myself, but it is really good. This concealer is actually really, really good, and it's wearing incredibly well. So now I'm going to zoom you all in so that you can get a better look at the under eye area after four hours of wear. Okay, so this is what the under eye area looks like after roughly four hours. And as you can see, it is wearing so well. <laughs> it looks so good underneath the eyes. It doesn't look cakey. It doesn't look dry. It doesn't look like heavy whatsoever. I feel like it almost still kind of looks like skin, um, even though it's concealing really, really well and full coverage. Like it is really, really taking care of the under eye area for me and it is staying put. It definitely is um, just settling into some of my fine lines here on this side and maybe just a tiny bit over here, but nothing too noticeable, nothing that I would kind of, you know, be shocked by. I feel like it may be settling into my lines a little bit more on the right side because of the color corrector that I placed underneath. Um, and at this point, I don't even feel like I need a color corrector. If you look at both sides and compare them, they look exactly the same as far as coverage. So, so far, the concealer, definitely getting an A+. So that is all that I have for this first half of the day. I do plan on finishing off my day at around 8.30, maybe even 9 o'clock tonight just to give this concealer a full eight and a half hours, maybe even nine, just depending on how my evening goes. But so far, I really like the way that it's wearing and I am keeping my fingers crossed and hopefully it wears this exact same way throughout the remainder of the day. If it does, I definitely feel like I've got a new favorite but we shall see. We shall see how we end the day. So I will see you all back here at the end of the night with my final thoughts on this new Too Faced concealer. Okay, so now I am back for my final check-in. It is currently 8.42, so I've had this concealer on for a little over eight hours now. And before I get into my overall opinion on this new concealer, I'm going to zoom you all in one last time so that you can see the under eye area after eight hours of wear. Okay, so this is what the concealer looks like after a little over eight hours and I am pretty speechless. This, this is good. So in conclusion, I'm in love with this concealer. I absolutely love the way that this wore underneath the eye area. I love the coverage that it gave me. I love the fact that it is hydrating, but not too hydrating. You know, I've had concealers in the past that claim to be hydrating, but they're just too much to the point where they don't stay put underneath the eyes. They separate in between my fine lines and they just don't wear well. By the end of the day, I just cannot wait to wash it off. This concealer, I can, I can really keep going. I can keep going throughout the day if I needed to do something after I put the kids down or if my husband and I had a date or something like that. Like, I can still keep going with this concealer that I applied, you know, at, at noon. So I definitely love that fact. I love the fact that, like I said, it's just, it looks, it just looks so good. And for the amount of coverage that you're getting with the concealer, it does not look overly done whatsoever. It does not look heavy, at least not to me. I've had concealers look heavy under my eye area. This one doesn't look that way. It doesn't feel that way. I'm getting beautiful coverage on both sides. It's just, it's an amazing concealer. The fact that it comes in 20 different shades, that's just an added bonus. And you get half an ounce worth of product. Half an ounce for a concealer. That is a lot of product. <laughs> so if you're curious about this concealer, you have some hyperpigmentation that you might want to conceal, or you have dark circles such as I do, and you're looking for something that's hydrating but not too hydrating, that's going to be long wearing and it's not going to feel heavy and really truly wear nicely throughout an entire day, this is it. This is it. I have not been this blown away by a concealer since 
the shape tape. I think that's the last time that I was really like blown away and struck by a concealer being so good. But this is this is just like the shape tape, but better. <laughs> and just better because it's hydrating, you know? I still love my shape tape. I will still continue to use it because I feel like it is a very, very very full coverage formula, but this this is as well. This is as well. I love them both. I, I If you had to make me choose, I don't think I could, but this is definitely a new favorite of mine. So, so that completes today's video. Thank you all so much for watching. I truly hope that you enjoyed today's video review and that you found it helpful. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel so that you don't miss out on future product reviews, makeup tutorials, anything beauty related. And also don't forget to follow me on all of my other social media platforms where I love to interact with you all. I am All Beauty by Sarah with an H on Instagram and All Beauty by Sarah without the H on Snapchat and Twitter. As always, take care and I will see you all in my next video. Mwah. Bye.